ಹಲೋ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಹೋಪ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು about this previous question paper 2017 okay so hope that you have enjoyed with this 2016 previous question paper we have solved in the previous video myself professor mohammad akbar i am a master in engineering degree engineering course vls or design and embedded system okay so mtech so since from 25 years i am working in the teaching field as a selection grade lecturer in one of the reputed uh, polytechnic i am having a passion to teach the students about this computer as well as mathematics subjects <coughs> so here by we are imparting the knowledge to you through this platform you please join this rio academy a whatsapp group and youtube channel please subscribe i am join the telegram so that you can get the maximum study material out of it and download the rio app and if you have got any queries you please call on this particular number okay so now let us begin with this <clears throat> 2017 question paper 2017 it is a previous question paper the pattern of this question paper is pattern of this question paper is the section a and section b the section a carries one marks 60 questions multiple choice questions all these questions are multiple choice questions and section b two marks of 20 questions so that is a 40 the total is 100 marks okay the total number of questions are 80 okay out of which you will be having some of the questions related to this computer awareness okay. so the now dash is not a data coding technique which is not a data coding technique here bcd this is nothing but it is binary coded decimal binary coded decimal binary coded decimal so this is a technique for data coding this is data coding technique now ebcdic which is also extended binary coded decimal interchange code so this is also a coding technique okay so data coding technique and ASCII American standard code for information interchange this is also a data coding technique whereas this is out of these three different coding techniques here it is asked not a data coding technique so this is not a data coding technique so this is american national standards institute okay so this is an organization this is an statutory body so which is responsible for other technical activities okay so this is does not belongs to this coding technique the right answer is a c okay let us go to the next question 
now ansi standards stands for just now i told you in this previous so this is ansi is nothing but it is an american national standard institute so the same thing here it is asked this is advanced national standard institute american national standard institute all nation nation standard institute all nation squad for investigations no so this is american national standard institute this is the right answer okay so this now let us go to the next question e mail stands for dash mail e mail stands for dash mail so here this is nothing but it is an electronic mail where is electronic electronic mail okay so this is electronic mail now gui stands for you must know the short forms of the many uh, computer terminologies okay what is that full form of these short forms gaming utility interface graphical user interface general utility interface group user interface the answer is graphical user interface is the right answer for this question now voip means very over important person very online important person voice on internet protocol voice over internet protocol okay the right answer is voice over internet protocol you are using this ip internet protocol for your voice transmission okay so that is the one okay so this is the full form of voip the process of locating an error in a program is known as the process of locating an error in a program is known as testing debugging maintenance development my dear students here bug means an error bug means error debugging this is the process of finding the errors in the programs written sometimes what will happen you have written 100 lines of program you have put it into for the execution process okay so you will find some of the errors in the program it is going to be highlighted here the five errors then you need to find that five errors you have to correct it you have to debug it that is an error finding locations program is known as this debugging is the right answer okay now go to the next the process of uploading the data the process of uploading the data during the occurrence of event transactions is known as okay so how do you upload this data during the occurrence of an event transactions there is a transactions which is going the event is going on so how you are going to upload this it is through an online okay so the right answer is online processing okay so online is the process now next ebola is the name of it is a computer virus a biological virus it is a malware or it is a software we know that there is a computer virus the computer virus is going to corrupt your executable files in the system biological virus malware which is nothing but it is unauthorized access or malicious swear so malware is nothing but it is malicious where it is kind of software so that is nothing but it is malware 
and software it is a group of programs for particular task to be done so in this so this ebola is a biological virus it is not a machine virus or the computer virus is it clear yes the next is ups is a device we are very much familiar with this terminology ups because in one and the other house we will be having this ups in the computer laboratories we will be having the ups even in for in our uh, different offices or different uh, houses we will be having this systems this is nothing but it is uninterrupted power supply if there is a power failure so through the batteries present in the ups system it starts working so the dc is going to convert it into ac to make this our household <coughs> electrical appliances so this is for this is not for data backup processing backup or power backup this is providing you the power backup this is the answer ups is uninterrupted power supply without having any interruption the power supply keeps on providing the power okay so that is the one so the next one is embedded systems what do you mean by embedded system embedded system is nothing but it is a system which is designed for a specific particular one function and the only okay embedded system is also contains the processor microcontroller and the arm controller but it is dedicated for one and the only function it is not allowing you to take the whole system for doing multiple tasks it is designed for one and the only task so that is called as an embedded system okay it has got the separate software separate operating system to perform its basic functioning so here embedded embedding software into hardware embedding hardware into software embedding computer into human embedding robo into human embedding software into hardware so this is the right answer okay so it is hardware oriented it has got the separate system for performing one single task okay a transistor here the two terminologies clubbed together one is a transfer transfer resistor transfer resistor this trans star transistor okay transfer of resistors high resistance to the low resistance it is transferring or from the low resistance to high resistance it is transferring it is a transfer will takes place it is through a semiconductor it is not a chip it is not an integrated circuit or it is not a wall it is a semiconductor so it may be a pnp transistor or npn transistors here this n semiconductor transistor is sandwiched between the two m p type semiconductors or p transistor is sandwiched between the two different n type semiconductors so this is the one okay it is a semiconductor transistor is used as a switch okay sometimes it gives you the plus vcc or sometimes logic 1 or logic 0 okay so now so here there is a question it is asked so 1 1 1 base 1 sorry base 2 1 1 1 4 times 1 base 2 binary number it is going to be added with one binary number 
so it is equal to how much it is you have to show here okay you have to select one answer out of these four given so this is one 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 plus one so this plus one now one plus one is zero carry one one plus one zero carry one one plus one zero carry one one plus one zero carry one so this is the answer base two so in binary we know that zero plus zero is equal to zero okay zero plus zero is zero one plus zero is zero sorry one zero plus zero plus one is one 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is going to be written in this way. 0 and carry 1. So this, where it is? 1, 4 times 0. This is the right answer for this. Okay. Yes, my dear students. Is it clear? Okay. The next is... The time required for fetching and the execution of one simple machine instruction is the time required for fetching and execution of one simple machine instruction is. So what you are going to do is you are fetching some data and you are going to for executions the complete time required for this is nothing but it is a CPU cycle okay it is a central processing unit cycle it calculates the amount of time for fetching as well as amount of time for executions it is known as a CPU cycle okay the next one is which among the following standard protocols is the most widely used by the internet Okay, so, so this here, this is this is hypertext transfer protocol. This is simple mail transfer protocol and this is transmission control protocol, internet protocol and this is file transfer protocol. This is the most used, widely used by the internet is TCP, IP is the protocol, okay. Okay, once again I request you, my dear students, those who are watching this video, please share these videos to your relatives, friends and the students community. Okay, so please ask them to join the Rio Academy, Telegram channel, join the WhatsApp group and uh, like the uh, YouTube videos from the Rio Academy. Subscribe the YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get the new updations. Okay. So new notifications you will be going to get it by clicking on the bell icon of YouTube channel. Okay. I am requesting you to please join. So here so many experts are imparting their knowledge, they are sharing their knowledge with you people, you the student community, so that you can crack your competitive exams very easily in the upcoming days, okay. Thank you, thank you and and all.